We founded Beach Hill Table Tennis Club in 2001 to fill a deficit in underage table tennis in the northeast of the city. By 2002, we had members with impaired intellectual ability joining the club and by 2003 we were catering for members of the Paralympic community. This made Beach Hill Table Tennis Club the first inclusive table tennis club in the country and a blueprint which other clubs followed. I got interested in table tennis in Beach Hill from being in school. I started when I was 13 years old. I developed from being in Special Olympics to playing mainstream and coaching the players on Wednesday nights. On Wednesday nights we have a special night for um, people with special needs and they can be sort of six years old up to adults, very diverse. We have players who are in residential services and for whom partaking in club activities is a major social highlight for them. We have players then who have both the ability and the interest uh, of playing very competitively and are ambitious as anybody else would be to maybe perhaps represent their club at national level and also represent their country at, at Paralympic level and we can cater for that. I came first in Paralympic in Mammo in Sweden. It just brings more people into your club really you know and uh, I, I'd recommend it to any clubs to include special needs players you know. We wouldn't have been able to get to where we are today without the huge involvement of parents and family members. My brother Gary is a member of Beach Hill Table Tennis Club. You could see there was more to Gary than just playing table tennis. Gary learned how to read a player, how to interact, how to be involved in sport and take it quite seriously. And then to compete in a national and an international level, I didn't think that was possible. And he just, he slotted right in. And I think he had a goal and he said he was going, he was going to play table tennis and he was going to win. It was really important to be nominated for this award in recognition of all the hard work and effort that's gone in to promoting inclusion. If our model can be adopted by other clubs, I'm sure the inclusion agenda will be so much more advanced in the coming years.